I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on parametric equations. In this video, we will learn the strategy to write parametric equation for Cartesian equations relating to circle. I will actually solve three questions. Two of them are right here. So at the end of the video, you will know how to solve such questions like write parametric equation for the following x square plus y square equals to 25 x minus 1 whole square plus y plus 2 whole square equals to 4 and then we'll have a multiple choice question parametric equation for the circle x square plus y square minus 6x plus 4y minus 12 equals to 0 is what perfect now you can always pause and answer these questions but let us first understand some basic concepts right and then we'll get into uh, the solution and writing parametric equation from Cartesian equations. So we'll actually begin with uh, how to write parametric equation for any circle. So this basic understanding. So let's begin with the circle. Let us say we have a circle with center at the origin itself. Let's say this is our circle, right? Now in this circle, if I'm assuming radius to be r in that case any particular point on a circle will be given by x and y and the equation is x square plus y square equals to r square correct now when we talk about parametric equation then we are writing equation in terms of uh, some parameters so normally we can take t as a parameter for a circle we can also take theta as a parameter so let's take theta as a parameter here so in that case uh, we can actually write x and y as its components correct so the x value basically will be r cos theta and y value will be r sin theta, right? Opposite over hypotenuse, r sin theta. Now, what we get is a set of equations. So, this set of equation is basically parametric equations. The parameter is theta, right? So, where theta is the parameter parameter. So in terms of theta we got our equation. Do you see that? So we always get a set of equations when we write it and uh, that is how we could actually convert Cartesian equation into parametric equation. Is that clear to you? Right. Now if the circle is not with the center at origin, right? this was with origin then what happens? Well, let's take a circle which is not at origin. Let's take another circle here and uh, let us say that the origin of the circle has been moved to a different point. Right? So, so we have this point here which is HK. Right? So, it's, so let's say this is H and K. And let us say that the radius is r right okay let me just extend this itself and let's say this radius is r and again we do have a point here which is x y now in this case how do we define these points x and y well as far as the circle equation goes you can always write this circle equation as a uh, the x value equals to now see the horizontal component this time is h plus this is h right this is h correct and this portion is r this is the parameter is theta so this portion here is r cos theta and the portion here is r sine theta plus this value 
which is key. Okay, so we can write x as h plus r cos theta and y as k plus r sin theta. So again, we get a set of parameters, parametric equation to define x and y points. Do you get the idea? So if the center is not at the origin, we could use this kind of a formula, right? So that is the base for us. And we're using this strategy, we are going to write all our answers. So now let's begin by answering the questions here. So the very first question for us is, we are given that x square plus y square is 25, right? So in this case, the radius is square root of 25, which is 5. And if I take x equals to 5 cos theta and y equals to 5 sine theta, I could actually represent this in parametric form. So this becomes parametric form. Is that clear to you? Now, it is a good time to check result. How will you check? So checking could be, we could do the reverse of this, right? So, so if I substitute x squared plus y squared, what do I get? So if I write what is x squared plus y squared for us, x is 5 cos theta, right? So I could write this as equal to 5 cos theta whole square plus 5 sine theta whole square. That gives us 25. And we have uh, 25 here also. Let me write down common cos square theta plus sine square theta. We know cos square theta plus sine square theta is 1. So this is equal to 25. So what do we get? We get our equation. Do you see that? So x equals to 5 cos theta, y equals to 5 sine theta will represent the Cartesian equation x squared plus y squared equals to 25. Is that clear to you? Correct? Now let's look into the second example. So if you see how we got this result, right? We took the radius, right? We took the radius and then we got our radius. Uh, then R is the center, H and K. So in this case, the center here is 1 minus 2, right? I should say center, not H, K value. Center of the circle is this. And the radius is 2, right? Square root of 4. Correct? And... In our discussion, we know that x should be replaced by h plus r cos theta, y by k plus sine theta. So we could straight away write our result as x equals to 1 plus, now radius is 2, so 1 plus 2 cos theta and y will be the, the k value which is minus 2 plus 2 sine theta, correct? So that is how we can actually immediately get our result. Do you see that? So it's kind of very simple to convert these equations from Cartesian to the parametric form, right? So that is the key to do it. The other way, you could also see it like this. Alternate will be, let me write, show you. x minus 1. Do you see x minus 1 is, that is what we are squaring, right? x minus 1. So x minus 1 is r cos theta. Do you see that? y plus 2 is r sine theta. Then also you get the same equation, right? So I could have written like this. Since we have x minus 1 here, we could do x minus 1 equals to 2 cos theta which will give us the same thing, that is x equals to 1 plus 2 cos theta, correct? Or y plus 2 
equals to radius 2 sine theta which will give us y equals to minus 2 plus 2 sine theta. Is that clear to you? And now if you are given the equation of a circle with origin not as the center but some other point h and k even then you can write down your equation very easily perfect now let's see the standard form of the circle right so based on that we have a test question for you you need to write parametric equation for the circle x square plus y square minus 6x plus 4y minus 12 equals to 0 which one is the correct answer well steps involved are let's first find the center right so center for this is half of this with negative sign which is 3 right half of this with negative sign coefficient of y which is minus 2 and the radius is equal to square root of this square which is 9 plus that square which is 4 minus of minus 12 right minus of minus 12 that gives you the radius which is uh, 13 plus 12 is 25 that gives you 5 as your radius okay once you know that then you can easily write down the equation you know x will be equal to the component r right the center value 3 and the radius is 5 so it'll be 5 cos well in this case we are using the parameter t left parameter t and y will be equals to minus 2 plus 5 sine t correct so that gives you option b as the right option perfect now for some of you uh, we straight away wrote down the center and the radius uh, some of you may not know how we got this you could actually do completing the squares method to find let me show you that also as it is kind of useful. So we, we are rewriting the equations x squared minus 6x. So this is like 2ab. Remember this. If I have a plus b whole square, I could write this as a square plus 2ab plus b square, right? So center term is twice. Half of this is 3. So we'll add 3 square and we'll subtract 3 square to make this component as a perfect square so we get one perfect square term right now uh, for the y square thing we have y square plus 4y half of 4 is 2 right so we'll add 2 square minus 2 square and we already have minus 12 equals to 0 correct now these three terms will become x minus sign from here 3 whole square we have minus 3 square which is 9 then we have y plus 2 whole square and that gives you the minus 4 2 square and we have minus 12 equals to 0 so that gives you x minus 3 whole square and we have plus y plus 2 whole square and see this term minus 9 minus 4 minus 12 do you see that which is minus 25 taking it to the other side so what we get here is x minus 3 whole square plus y plus 2 whole square equals to 25 and that means the radius is 5 is that clear to you right. so that is using a formula straight away and this one is uh, completing the squares and then finding it so i hope you understand both the methods and now it is a very simple process to write any circle related equations into parametric form easily correct so you just need to remember the very basic concept and from there you can easily convert any equation from parametric form to Cartesian form or from Cartesian form to parametric form as we have seen with the help of these examples. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.